Good morning, Marie. Good morning. What are you doing? Come on. Alright, so I'm about to head to voice lesson. Just got ripped in my suitcase. Sad. We're in a really kind of strange outfit. We're wearing the same sweater as yesterday. Then some workout leggings, because apparently I didn't pack. Um, my other ones, and then these new flats. Because I would just wear my skinny jeans, but we are going to get pedicures afterwards. And I usually like put lotion up all the way to my knee, so I need something I can pull over. That is what I'm doing. And then I'm not wearing boots because I need to be able to take my shoes off easily and not wear socks. So why give me some little plastic flip flops because I don't have any here, I don't think. Alrighty. So I actually just took off all of my face makeup and eye makeup, so I was just kind of playing around with this lipstick I got um, the other day because, I, like I said, I'm like trying to step up the lipstick game. This is NYX MLS30 Aria. This is what it looks like in the tube. This is what it looks like on my lips. A little bit different, um, but I like it. It does show up a little bit more purpley in person than it is on camera. It's kind of showing up a little bit pinker. Um, and then I also got this color when I went shopping. This is like a lip gloss though. This is Adidas Abba? Ababa? Something like that. And this is a soft matte lip cream. The lipstick I have on is a matte lipstick from NYX and then I've actually been wearing this one kind of more daily it is I think it's just a cream lipstick or it's just like their normal formula it was like the cheapest one that they had for NYX 529 Talia or Thalia Talia Thalia um and it looks like this and this is like, it's a little purpley and a little bit browner than like my lips, but it almost looks like my lips. I did discover that it matches almost like perfectly my Dream Mousse blush in Cloud Wine. Because look at this. Like this like basically the same color, so I wore this together today and I liked it. This doesn't stay, oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to learn how to wear lipstick, apparently. Um, this one doesn't stay on my lips super well. Or maybe it's just so close to my lip color that I don't notice. And that's what I have for now. After I finish playing around with lipstick, I'm going to sit down and tell you about my voice lesson. Because I think it went really well. <laughs> okay, I think that that is as good as I'm going to get it getting off of my lips today um so for my voice lesson we were still working on technique mostly and that's totally fine um but we worked on bridging the gap between my head voice and my chest voice and I think we made a lot of progress um we did an exercise where we sang on the same note and I switched back and forth from head voice to chest voice till I eventually kind of got to a place where it's like these kind of just like sound the same which is the point you know like 
and he was talking about like the difference between head voice and chest voice is completely mental all the physical setup for your singing is the same it should be the same it's literally like all of the physical aspects are the same so it's just mental of like where you place your vibrations and your resonance kind of but your resonance is still here um it was just so eye-opening i guess um in the exercise we did i'm talking really quick um he said that he'd never done with a girl before um because he always used it to help um men bridge the gap between their head voice and falsetto i think so um but it seemed to work very well um and i'm really happy about that so <laughs> um yeah, I just, I just felt like I, I had such progress and had some things that I could like easily take with me and easily work on by myself. Cause sometimes I feel like when I'm working on technique, it's like, this is great, but like, this is not an exercise that I feel like I can, um, do on my own. Um, my lips are a little stained from this, that lipstick. I meant to ask if you, if somebody even watches this, what are the feelings on that color on me? I can't tell, and it probably wasn't a great test since I wasn't wearing, like, face makeup. So it's kind of making my little pimples stick out a little bit more since it's bright. Um, and I wasn't wearing eye makeup to, like, balance it out. But kind of liked it. Dig it. It's a little different. Um, so, yeah, my voice lesson was really good. I feel really good about it. Um, I was really glad that I recorded this one. I record, like, um, audio for my voice lessons, if I remember, and I'm really glad that I did, so that I can, like, listen back on it. I should listen back to voice lessons for my freshman year of college, because sometimes I feel like I haven't progressed very much, and I'm betting if I took the minute to, like, go back and listen to my lessons from freshman year of college, I would notice a difference, and I would notice improvement, but I don't know. Um, also, I did get my pedicure today. Um, I didn't do it yesterday because I slept in too late and we're gonna try and do it before my voice lesson today, but then that didn't happen either because I still kind of slept in. Um, hey, it's Christmas break, right? Um, so then we went after and I got my toes done and they're red. They're the same shade as red as my nails, so I don't feel like I need to show my feet. Um, and then I just got like a white snowflake on it and they put like a rhinestone in the middle which is kind of interesting never had that before i feel really like protective of my big toes now um it's like who can't let this catch on anything i've got a rhinestone on my toe um and i decided to go designless on my fingers and i kind of stupidly was like yeah i'll do red because i packed a green dress to wear for christmas i don't know if this is gonna stay on my nails for a week i've never I don't think I've ever had my nails stay painted that long. So I guess it's a test of time. I guess it would be New Year or Christmas Eve, because that's when we go to church and that's when we dress up. Hmm. Yeah, I got this color. And they're kind of talking about doing like a rhinestone pattern on this finger of a bow. And if you know me, you know. Bows are my thing. Like, some girls love hearts and, like, polka dots or stars. I like bows. Um, like, that was my thing. Everybody knew it in high school, especially you knew that Anna Hamburger loved bows. Um, it was just weird. It started with this bow necklace that I got from... No, I think I got a bow ring first from American Eagle. And then I went back and they had a bow necklace and I wore that like every day. And then a few months later, I picked up a gold bow necklace. So I had like a short silver one and a gold one that was like longer. And that's like the only jewelry I wore. And then it just kind of, you know, snowballed from there. So I have lots of bow jewelry. And then for my 16th birthday, I sometimes wear this ring. I don't know if I've shown it on camera. Don't really know. And it's a bow ring. I lift up my hand because I wear it on this finger. Or, no, I, I wear it on my middle finger. I don't wear it on my ring finger. It has some diamonds in it. I got it for my 16th birthday for my parents. It's very pretty. But what's funny about my, like, original bow necklace is I wore it so much since it was, like, 
on the cheaper side. It did eventually like kind of get gross looking. And um, I, so one got really gross looking. I think I broke a different one at a dance rehearsal because I like didn't take it off. I would only take it off to shower. And I wouldn't sleep in it, I don't think. I don't know. I can't remember. So I had... I was like really worried that American Eagle was going to stop selling this design and they eventually did of course right okay and I went to American Eagle and I like bought two of them in one go and they're like what and they like could see that I was wearing one and I was like I just really like this necklace <laughs> I actually think I still have a backup one that hasn't been worn yet maybe um it's like in my closet uh because I kind of got over it and started wearing like a dainty ring necklace senior year. And then now I just have the necklace that Jake gave me. And that is the one that I wear. I thought... I thought I had a brand new one. I think I might have taken it with me to Denver. So this is the original bow necklace of Anna Hammer. It's really pretty. I still love it, but I have like no doubts that my wedding dress will have like a bow on it. I still love bows, but it kind of got ridiculous. Like I have this bow necklace and this one behind it a bow on it. This guy minus the Disneyland chains has like three bows on it. Oh no, it has an A. Oh no, that's my Disneyland. So this one has a bow here and another one there and another one. It's a layered bow necklace. Okay, triple threat. I'm obsessed with bows. Here's another one that I got. A lot of these I didn't actually end up buying. People just kind of started giving them to me for presents, which is totally fine by me. I think this one's super colorful. I've clearly never worn it, but it's pretty. I think this is another one. Yeah, this is another one. I think I bought this one in Chicago because my original one broke like the day I was leaving for Chicago for a choir trip and I was like I can't go without a bow necklace so we went shopping like the first day and I was like I need a bow necklace and I like literally went out and bought one even though I knew I had a replacement one at home I was obsessed guys totally bad and we're in Iowa now and I guess in Iowa we do Diet Pepsi instead of Diet Coke that's the update. <laughs> Long clip. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. I thought I was done vlogging for the night, but I ended up doing a little bit of a workout, um, just like 15 minutes, and I had to use three pound dumbbells because that's all I left here. I took my five and my eight pound dumbbells back to Denver with me. Not that those are like super heavy or anything, but to be completely honest, I have not worked out since like the first week of November because the week after that I got sick. I threw up instead of going to Zumba, so fun times. <laughs> um, but I did like mostly an arms workout with a little bit of like leg in between the sets, I guess you would say. Um, but it felt good. I haven't worked out in a while. It's probably good that I like had to use three pound dumbbells because I haven't worked out in so long and then I was just like sitting down on my pooter on my computer um yeah me and Jake call our computers pooters I don't know too hard to explain <laughs> and I had this anonymous message for me on tumblr and it's so cute uh, it's just like, they're just giving me lots of compliments and saying that they think I'm pretty and brave and they read through my I Love My Body essay that I wrote junior year and they just, I don't know, I think the most touching part is they said you seem like such a brave and amazing person and I honestly hope your life turns out the way that you want it to because you sure seem to deserve it. 
I think that's so sweet. I, like, I never know what to expect and I get anonymous messages on Tumblr, which is not a lot. But this is so cute. <sighs> wow. So I just, I just had to document this because, like, it, like, made my day. <laughs> oh, man.